Hi, I'm Patrick Bark with Saffron, and welcome to our support tutorial section. Today we'll be discussing replacing the compact flash card in your SecureSync 1200 and NetClock 9400. I encourage you to follow along in our user manual and contact our support team if you have any trouble. At this point, you should already have a ticket open with our support department so that you received your new compact flash or CF card. The first thing you'll need to do is remove your unit from its server rack. This requires you to remove input power via the rear of the unit. Then you can safely remove the device from the rack. You may need to remove the rack mount ears, so make a point to keep those somewhere safe for when you need to mount the unit again. Now you may bring the device to your workbench. For this video, the unit is oriented with the front panel facing away from me so that I'm looking directly at the rear of the unit. I'm also making sure to follow all anti-static procedures. Now you must use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws from the top panel, placing them somewhere safe as to not lose them. It is also important when removing or adding back these screws to be careful not to strip, over torque, or cross thread them, especially if using a mechanical torque driver. I can now remove the existing CF card from its socket by lifting out and up on the wire clamp, then pulling the CF card out. Next, you can insert your new CF card that you received from our support team into the socket. You then push down on the wire clamp to lock the new card into place. I can now secure the top cover of the unit back down using the black screws I set aside earlier. Once again, it is important when adding these screws back to be careful not to strip, over torque, or cross thread them, especially if using a mechanical torque driver. You can then reinstall the unit and reapply input power. Finally, you'll need to reconfigure the IP address and run the latest software update process to ensure all portions of the system have been updated. Thank you for joining us for this support tutorial on compact flashcard installation. Please refer to our Support Hub resources for additional documentation or to contact our support team. Thank you.